Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons and if you like roast potatoes, you are going to love these. Hello, in this video I'm going to be making the fondant potatoes. Um, they're really lovely alternative to a roast potato. They're going to be um, braised in the oven basically with some stock and some butter, some garlic and some thyme. They are really delicious and I know you're going to love this one. Right, let's start the new year off with your resolutions and start with a, a really healthy potato dish cooked in butter. <laughs> so I've got some fairly medium potatoes. These are Maris Pipers. In the UK, King Edward is great as well. In the States, a russet. That's probably your best option because those are the floury potatoes. They're good for roasting and because they, they also they absorb this flavour because we're going to cook these in butter and stock. And I just uh, trim that to a reasonably attractive shape. Don't get too bent out of shape about it being perfect. Some people use like cutters to get them absolutely cylindrical, but I don't need to worry about that. So look, that's the first one. Is it uh, well, it's a little bit different, but don't worry, don't worry. When they're all done, you'll see. But I, I started with the smallest potato so that then at least I knew that the, the bigger ones, I'd be able to get them to the same size, right? And if you've got any bits at the bottom like that, just tidy up a little bit there. But again, don't don't stress about this too much. By the time they're all cooked, they're just going to look so yummy. And I thought I'd just show you them side by side. Yeah, they're sort of the same size. Well done, Uncle Matt. Yeah, we... And for those that are getting all upset about all the trimmings, I put those in cold water. I boiled them and put them in the oven as well. And they were really lovely. So a cold pan, cold unsalted butter. That's quite unique. I don't think you'll see any other techniques quite like this for this uh, this dish. And uh, pat drying the potatoes after they've had about 10 minutes or so to get rid of some of the extra starch on the outside. Pat dry those. That's lovely. Um, any pan that will go in your oven. So from the stove into the oven is important. Okay. So sitting the flat edges of those spuds into the butter onto the stove. Get that fired up. And... Now we're not using any oil for this, so you've got to be careful with the temperature. You've got to keep your eye on these. Don't leave them alone. These are some aromatics that are going to go in there. Very traditional. Uh, just sort of smash up a bit of garlic. And I've got some picked thyme as well. So bringing that up to a simmer, the butter. And you've got to keep your eye on it. If the butter starts going brown, we've got to then deal with that. We've got to get the temperature down. Um, I put some seasoning at that stage. And I found it in my pan, that, that bit there was hotter. And I'm just showing you the butter, you see that? It's called Bernoisette, you know, because it's um, blackened butter, it translates to, but it gives a lovely nutty flavour. But at that point, turning the temperature right down, and you can hear that sizzle. Yeah, so it is quite hot, but that's going to cool down pretty quickly, because I do not want the butter to burn, because these would just be like, ugh, nasty and acrid. So that's that would be a shame. So, basting. Um, I love a bit of basting, so we're going to do that at every opportunity. And we're going to put these on that fairly low temperature until we've got them nice sort of golden brown colour. That is my homemade chicken stock. I'll share a link to how to make that. I would recommend you buy, if you're buying a stock, not, not the stock cubes. They can be a bit too salty. So you might want to buy a better quality stock. So more basting into the oven, preheated the oven. And I can't guarantee how long it's going to take to do, you know, depending on the size of the potatoes, the temperatures of your oven, but you're going to take them out. That was after about 20, 25 minutes. Give me a little stab with a knife. No, the knife's not going in at all. So it's, they're not ready. Another baste back in the oven. And there we go. That was, so in total, it was around about 45 to 50 minutes for them to be like that. There, look. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who wants those? So then uh, they're ready to serve, basically. Um, today I wasn't making them with a dish or anything. I was just showing you how to make these fondant potatoes. So I just put them on a plate. And uh, anyway, I'm going to hand you over to me for the tasting. So there we have fondant potatoes. A little bit of a faff, maybe. But, oh my God. You've got that beautiful colour on there. But it's the the chicken stock in this case and the butter just absorbs into them and it just tastes amazing mm. a little bit of salt i think needed and a bit of pepper so anything you'd have a roast potato or any other potato dish with do this instead 
give it a try. I think you'll really like it and it'll be one for the older repertoire for a future. Oh, just one more bit here. Oh God. Mm. So thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you really like this video. Feel free to comment and share and all that sort of stuff. Subscribing is great. And I'll catch you again pretty soon. Bye-bye.